remark on 2014, small businesses are cautiously optimistic about the nation's state of economic affairs. The two-year bipartisan budget deal agreed to by lawmakers at the end of 2013 was a positive sign that Washington can put partisan differences aside and solve small businesses' biggest problems. However, there's much more to do before we're back on a long-term path toward economic prosperity. Small Business Majority worked extensively during 2013 to engage small businesses and promote small business issues in Congress. As we kick off the new year, it's important to look at the current state of small business, taking stock of where we are and examining where we want to go. Entrepreneurs know how vital the middle class is to our economic recovery. Small businesses' core customer base is made up of the middle class, and the vast majority of small business owners are middle class themselves. Consumer demand is a top concern for small business owners, and one of the best ways to create that demand is to strengthen the middle class. But in order to do so, we need smart economic policies that support our nation's job creators and the middle class customer base. First, lawmakers need to find a long-term solution to our nation's budget woes. The short stopgap measures we've become accustomed to erode consumer confidence and allow politicians to hold the economy hostage to their partisan priorities every several months. Two, we need to reduce our deficit by eliminating tax loopholes that give big corporations an unfair advantage over small businesses while making sure that our tax policies encourage growth and job creation in the small business sector. Three, accessing the capital small businesses need to grow and thrive is still a problem. We are very hopeful that the new SBA administrator, Maria Contreras Sweet, will be a driving force to help provide the kind of capital small businesses need. And finally, lawmakers need to come together to pass bipartisan comprehensive immigration reform. This is a no-brainer for small businesses and for our economy. There are many key issues facing the small business community in 2014 and many areas where they would like to see action from lawmakers. If we truly want to set our country on a path toward prosperity, lawmakers are going to have to listen to small business needs and make some significant changes to ensure our small employers succeed. Thank you.